I stopped. It's like, oh, that was pretty cool. The Alma Mater project, actually it started last spring. Mike Schertz came up to me, it must have been in March, and he gave me the idea that, what do you think about doing an Alma Mater for the college? For years, Tara's music programs in their theory and composition classes have used the model of an Alma Mater project uh, to help students identify simple melodies with harmonies, because most Alma Maters have to be a singable melody and uh, somewhat simplistic harmonies so people can sing them for ceremonies or programs or concerts. I thought it was a good idea at the time and I thought one way I could do it, I could get my Theory 4 students as a final project to actually write one, at least the music end of it. I mean, we didn't have any words, but I had them each, you know, write a 32-bar tune that we could possibly use for an alma mater. And that led uh, to conversations with the music faculty, and then we started working with the creative arts class to develop the lyrics. Once the inauguration project really started kicking up, I mean, really started getting serious, like, hey, we need some words for this. And so by midsummer, you know, I decided to approach the creative writing classes and, and see if we can get maybe the students to come up with some words. So the very first assignment on the very first day of class, I hit them with, uh, we're going to be writing the alma mater for Terra State Community College. I asked them as a class to each go home and at least write two to four lines of anything that they felt like they could um, associate with Terra. And we started off by just going up to the board and putting lines up. And every time someone wrote something, you'd go, wow, you know, I didn't know that that's what they were thinking. And it was impressive to see what everybody's different insights were. It was just cool that we had all the different lines on the board and then we could piece them together in different ways. So whatever idea someone brought with them, we could just kind of collaborate it together. So no one's idea was over more than anyone else's. It was a great group collaboration. It was great to see how everyone was able to share the same thoughts about the school and learn their respect for it. And I think it was something that just helped us really realize all the opportunities that we get here and why we're grateful for them. And I think it worked out real well. And it was nice to get to know everybody through their insights about what school means to them. We picked the best lines that we thought went together and then I typed them up and posted them on what we call our workshop forum. They all went in at different times and um, made suggestions, things that they did like, things that they didn't like, and then I kept revising the drafts accordingly, and it was the fifth draft that I ultimately presented John with um, as our final lyrics. And, and, and they did, and within three weeks, I mean, they had it they had them pretty much finished. And at that point, you know, I, I had brought the lyrics back here. And then our student, Eric Lawrence, um, came up with a melody and a harmony that he worked on with Professor Sippity. And we, we added it and tweaked it a little bit and then took the words. And basically what I did is I spoke the lyrics that the students wrote and I notated the speech rhythm and notated that in musical notation and then just sat at the piano and with the words and just started plinking out some melodies. And, and after you get like about two measures into it, the whole thing starts taking shape in your head. And at that point, you know, I, I just started notating at the piano. And eventually after that notation was done, then I took it over here to the computer and took the words and made a four part harmony out of it. And it goes something like this. To be able to see how the students have uh, contributed and they see the worth and especially in uh, a situation like this where their words are going to be left here for posterity and as you can tell we're a diverse class we're a small but mighty class but we sure got the job done and I'm very proud of my students because of that. It was a fun experience. It was good to see everyone working together and see how everyone collaborated and everyone's hands was in it. It wasn't really any one person's you know, lines or anything, like, everyone had a say in it. It's just nice to know we're going to go down in history. We've left our markers down.
I feel that the class, myself, everybody that's worked on it overall is well represented. So I'm excited, just as everybody else is, to hear what it sounds like. So we're pretty excited to add that in to the inauguration ceremony and the Celebrate Terra State Week. And I think it's an exciting time as the college really transitions uh, into its next chapter that now we have an alma mater. Goes something like that. I don't know what else to say, but that's pretty much how we did it. And hopefully everyone likes it when we finally perform it.